My name is Danielle Savory and I am on FR Conventions. It was. The season was definitely like more challenging than the others. Um, but I'm so grateful that the writers of the show like gave me this content to actually to work on and to go with and to work with people like Tracy Toms and Stefania in the, in the hospital scene and stuff like that. So it was definitely hard. I had to get to a very dark place this season and get myself out of it. But I'm really happy, like you said, with how it turned out. I'm very proud to be a part of that storyline and to talk about mental health issues on network television. <music>she might is so known for having her walls up all the time and you know there's some history there with her dad and what happened in their upbringing and constantly having to have eyes you know eyes on the finish line eyes on the price and so um eyes forward so i was like what was the saying <laughs> um and so she's oh you know that she's that person but to actually know that this started so further back when she was three years old was the first time she remembered okay i have to win or i don't receive love her love was so conditional and i think it sheds light on that when you have therapy sessions and you're kind of able to like put down those walls that you were able to see that this goes so far back and she has so much healing to do and so much learning to love herself even if she doesn't win and so it was beautiful i mean i was so again so happy to have the read the script and be like oh my gosh nervous at first because i was like okay this is some really dark stuff um and but important stuff and really having to be vulnerable and so I had to be vulnerable as well. So it was definitely a lot of it and we kept doing so many takes during that therapy scene that I was like, I looked at Paula, I was like, no more, don't make me do anymore. But we did so many takes of like constantly crying but um, I was really, really proud to be a part of that. I mean, I know I, I loved the script and I loved the director that episode and I knew I was acting opposite Tracy. So um, I definitely had a lot of pressure on myself to bring it. And I felt like when I walked away from those days of filming those scenes that I was like, okay, I felt like I did everything I, good, I could, I did my best. And so I'm glad that it had the reaction it did. But I, I yeah, I never went into it knowing if it was going to, but I'm glad it did. is absolutely important. I mean, everything from playing an LGBTQI member to also being a female firefighter to also showing two women in a in a woman on woman relationship that are trying to have a child and then hopefully in the future how they're going to raise that child both of them having careers i mean i think representation in general for all of that is extremely important representation about mental health and therapy so i love being a part of <laughs> that storyline in general and playing maya because it represents so much but the actual storyline of Maya and Karina, I almost said Stefania, <laughs> I go back and forth. Uh, Maya and Karina is so beautiful. And like you said, it's really usually a coming out story, which Maya had a little bit of a, because she came out to her father officially. Um, but it really just felt natural. It felt like we're coming in on these people that know who they are, for the most part. They're obviously exploring and discovering, but um, yeah, it's like I kind of, the character Maya was already so well formed when I got the script and started the show and so, it feels like just a very natural relationship. And I think that's a beautiful way to kind of portray that on television. We just have it. <laughs> like there's always that story of um, the first table read we ever had where we hadn't even met, like we met five minutes before the table read started. And this is when we did in-person table reads. Now we do everything over, um, over Zoom. But we did in-person table reads and we sat down, we met each other and we're like, okay, we're gonna, at the end of the episode, everyone that knows that episode, it's really just the end we meet and that was it. And uh, we got all the way, we're doing the table read, got all the way to the end of the episode, we have that scene and it just, like the air got sucked out of the room and like everyone went silent and we did this scene and we were across from each other. They usually have you, whoever's doing the most scenes together, they'll position people across the uh, table so that you can have a lot of eye line with each other. And so they did and we just, it went silent and like you could just feel this energy and this connection from across the table and both of us were like, okay. <laughs> and then we filmed in it, it was the same thing. But I think me and Stefani have always been like, what is that exactly? And I think for both of us, like we're just very passionate authentic I think people and we love what, what we're doing and we like everything we do we give our all and like put our heart into it and I think that really is what comes across because we're both um, of the same mind when it comes to our work so yeah and life <laughs>
back and forth. And I feel like this, this is a constantly evolving answer because every time I get asked, I'm like, ooh, this one. But Stefani said it last time and I think she's right too and I agree with her is that we did um, the scene where basically she was going back to Italy and we break up. That, that whole scene as an actor, as Danielle, was so great to shoot because we shot it like a play. Peter Page directed it and we shot it the whole seven minute, it was a seven minute scene, seven minute take where the cameras were just following us and we had to rehearse it and we went to different rooms and there was cameras waiting for us in different rooms. And so we really went through the whole seven minutes all at once. And it was so great to do and so challenging as an actor um, to get to do that. And so I had a blast shooting that scene and it came out great. <laughs> As nerve wracking as it was, because you know, we don't normally shoot seven minute scenes, um, seven minute takes, so it was definitely nerve wracking, but I'm really proud of how it came out. I love it. I, me and Stefania really fought hard, which I always said to the fans, I'm like, they're probably not gonna be happy to hear this, is we really fought to have that kind of breakup and that tough time in their relationship kind of go on, not just like be resolved in one episode. Because that was originally the pitch was like, okay, she's better, she has her therapy session and they're back together, they move in. And we're like, let's, as great as that sounds, let's show the reality, which would, it would take time for uh, Karina to trust Maya again. And so we really pushed for that, we asked for that and we got it, which I'm sure a lot of people at the end were like, can they just be back together? Um, but we always knew we were told at the end of the season we were, so we knew that was the end goal. But it was nice to see the natural progression of what would happen if a couple went through a really tough time and how do you build rebuild that foundation to make sure you can actually start and have a very positive relationship and trust and all that kind of stuff after so i loved was the question did i love the evolution basically i loved it this season it, they really took even us as actors on a roller coaster and especially i was maya because there was just so much i mean she really hit rock bottom so i had to kind of I went through all the emotional ranges this season, <laughs> but it was a blast and really rewarding. And I got to direct this season, so it was, uh, I think it's my favorite season so far. I mean, I, lo I love all the options of them having kids, whether that's adoption or trying to do IVF or anything. I thought the same thing when I read that script. Me and Stephanie were like, so we're gonna adopt this child, right? And the writers will not tell us anything. Like they are, just lip sealed, they're like, we don't know. And I'm like, come on. But it does feel like a natural progression because, you know, of this, of how the season ended. It feels like that's what would happen with, um, Pauline is the actress, but I can't remember what her character's name was. Um, but that's what it felt like would happen. We'll see though. We'll see. I'm happy with whatever path it takes, but I really want to see, um, you know, Maya and Karina be moms. It was five years in the making from the day I said I wanted to, to shadowing 12 different directors on different two different shows and shooting my short film and having that do the festival circuit. And so it was very rewarding to finally have it happen. It was a huge episode, way bigger than I expected it to be. Um, I thought they would go a little bit easier on me, but I'm so happy that Emily Culver, the writer, didn't because it really challenged me and I got to like really see if I could do it and I did. And it was awesome. And I had so much support from the crew and the cast because because they'd seen my journey for five years on the show really fighting to direct. So they kind of, when the time came, everybody was like, let's do this. And I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. I just like getting to be face to face with the fans. I mean, I think we have the best fans in the world, honestly. I might be biased, but like, I just think they're so passionate and so engaged and so positive. And I just think I love getting to see them face to face. We interact so much online and I do love interacting with the fans online, but to actually get to see them in person and to hear their stories and to hear how the show has an impact on their lives really means a lot to me. So I love getting that one-on-one -on -one time with everyone here.